So let's continue our discussion regarding these fans and blowers. And right now we are in the topic of fan loss. And when I say fan loss, basically what it does or what it what it describes is that if I change one parameter of a fan, I say the speed or the diameter, then what's going to be the effect to the other parameters such as the flow rate, the, the pressure, and also the horsepower. All right, so let's write it here, fan parameters that we like is um, we have this diameter we have the speed we also have this uh, flow rate the pressure operating pressure and also the what else the horsepower all right so for example here's our fan we know that if we have a larger diameter fan then of course it will have a, a different performance or if we have this diameter and I double the speed we know that the flow rate will also double so um, basically um, if we change this if, if we change this um, speed holding this diameter constants then what's going to be effect what's going to be the effect to the flow rate to the pressure and also to the horsepower or or if I held this constant and I change the diameter I make it larger for example then what's going to be the effect to the flow rate to the pressure and the horsepower All right so basically when you say fan loss this is it changing the speed what's going to be the effect of the flow rate so in our lecture handouts we have there the the fan loss and what's going to be the effect of the flow rate and we have there n sub 1 all over n sub 2 is equal to q sub 1 all over q sub 2 and take note uh, this is constant diameter because there is another uh, there are other fan laws like for example if we held this constant and we change the diameter then what's going to be the, the flow rate so what this means is that uh, basically the relationship of the speed to the flow rate is just linear what that means is if I double the speed then I I also double this flow rate Right, so that's just it. It's just raised to degree one. But for pressure, so if here's our our pressure, let's say P sub one all over P sub two. Right, so what's gonna be the effect? It's just this N sub one all over N sub two, but this time this speed this ratio of the speed will be squared right so next is the what else power so for the power we have let's say let's have here HP one horsepower or maybe we'll use H for this pressure, right? For the head, H1 and H2, for example. Okay, so again, we'll use this. And for this one, let's just use power so that whether we are in metric units or English units, we can we can use the same symbol, right? So this is flow rate. This is pressure. And this is power. So P1 and P2, that's for power. And the effect of the speed is, uh, this will be raised to 3. So take note, this is raised to 1, this is raised to 2, this is raised to 3. So that means that if I, if I double the speed, then that means the, the, Adjusted power would be 2 raised to 3. That's going to be 2 times 2 times 2. So that's going to be 8. So that's the effect. So sometimes we, we want to adjust the, the flow rate. Then, of course, we use this fan loss. But we can adjust the flow rate. But, of course, we also need to check this power. Because the, the power parameter actually um, adjusts to raise to, the, uh, raise to the 3. Right? So that's basically it and for the diameter there's you, you can check actually uh, the um, various fluid mechanics textbooks 
regarding this fan loss or fan affinity loss so there is a what if we change the speed and take note of the assumption because the assumption for this for this one that we write that's the constant um, constant density but if we have a variable density then of course we have to take that into account and we use we need to use this right and this one uh, variation in density equals speed that means we're just we're just changing the density but there is also uh, other other ones like if we held this constant and we change the diameter then what's going to be the effect right so i think that's it and right now we'll do a sample problem regarding that so here's our third uh third sample problem it says here a 36 inches diameter fan having a 1 hp electric motor can provide a 4 cubic meters um cubic meters per second flow rate at 900 rpm producing a static pressure of 50 pascals equipment are added in the building which increases the static pressure to 70 pascals determine the size of electric motor to accommodate the change in static pressure determine the change speed of the fan to obtain the increased horsepower so basically the background is that if if let's say here's the ducting system and let's say here's a here's a blower and it says here that this blower can um, provide q is equal to four cubic meters per second at n sub one of course these are initial conditions uh, equal to 900 rpm and producing a static pressure of 50 pascals so h1 is equal to 50 pascals however because we we include additional equipment let's say we include a filter right here so let's say we have a filter so this increases static pressure uh, because it is uh, harder for this blower to to push the air because of this uh, resistance so because of this then there's going to be an increase in um, in pressure so let's say h2 says here increase to 70 pascals so what's going to be the effect to our our flow rate actually what's going to be the effect to our horsepower requirement right so that's our background so uh, since there's no since there is no illustration then let's uh, I mean the first step for our solution should be illustrate the problem All right so we have here a ducting system and initially we have this flow rate of as a q sub 1 is 4 cubic meters per second and n sub 1 is 900 rpm and h sub 1 is 50 pascals so this is a unit of, pre of, of pressure and because we include a let's say a filter right, so let's just say additional or added equipment So because of that, our H sub 2 right here increased to 70 pascals. So find H B. And also, uh, sorry, uh, find B. That's the power right so find p and also the change in in static pressure that means that h delta h so h sub 2 minus h sub 1 so i guess that's it and
All right, so if we observe this, what we have is we have these initial conditions, and here's our um, our final conditions, and we only have value for this head or this pressure. So if we use this, then we can find for this n sub two, and we can also uh, find for this q sub one. All right, so applying the fan loss applying the fan loss to solve for for speed given the pressure right so recall our fan loss is just n1 all over n2 and we have this h1 all over h2 and in terms of static pressure this is squared so this one is given this is also given and this one is given so we can solve for n sub 2 All right so we do that um, that's gonna be let's do a shift solve so n1 is 900 and this one is alpha x then equals what's this h1 is 50 divided by 70 so this is 50 divided by 70 then shift solve right, so we have here 1065 1065 rpm All right so since we have this n sub 2 then we can now relate to the horsepower requirement so solving now for for the for the horsepower or for the power so that is n sub 1 or over n sub 2 is equal to p sub 1 or over p sub 2 take note this is power and in terms of power this is raised to 3 so this one is given this is also given this is this is also given p sub 1 it says here 1 HP so therefore p sub 1 is equal to 1 HP so let's solve for this so 1065 so n sub 1 is equal to 900 so 900 divided by 1065 then raised to 3 All right and we have this p sub 1 of 1 hp so 1 divided by answer this is 1.65 right, so this 1.65 hp All right so just just take note of the units that if if this is in rpm then this one should be in rpm this is in horsepower this one should be in horsepower if the pressure is in pascals then the um, the second pressure would also be in in pascals All right so that's it and the other one is says determine the size of electric motor to accommodate the change in static pressure uh, determine the change speed of the fan so here's the speed change speed and here's the um, the horsepower All right so in summary so change speed is 1065 rpm and the change power is 1.65 hp of course we need to adjust this um, I mean when we are doing practical design then we need to adjust this to some standard values All right but for computations uh, discussion um, then we'll just use that okay so what else we'll do another sample problem uh, I, so sample problem is it says that a new equipment is to be installed in a livestock building that will require an additional of 500 cfm of air flowing the fan is currently operating at 0 0.75 hp which produces a 0 0.3 inches static pressure the fan produces 5000 cfm at 
700 rpm then therefore determine the increase in static pressure and can the same motor be used and what's going to be the required horsepower so again a new equipment is to be installed in a livestock building that will require an additional uh, 500 cfm of air flowing so because of the additional equipment then there's going to be an increase in pressure and if there's going to be an increase in pressure then what's going to be the required horsepower and what's going to be the 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 delta or the change in the uh, in the static pressure and we are asked is if we use the same motor 0 0.75 hp then can we use uh, can it accommodate the change in the static pressure right so again first thing that we do in the solution when there's no illustration given then we just have to illustrate the problem right so we have here the fan or let's just draw a fan and initial condition and here's our final condition so initial condition is it says a new equipment is to be installed in a livestock building that will require an additional 500 cfm so this is an additional 500 C cfm but our initial is the fan produces 5000 cfm so q sub 1 is equal to 5000 cfm so because it's uh, i mean after installing a new equipment then the the flow rate uh, required is must be 5000 plus 500 because this is an additional flow rate so this will be 5500 cfm all right so what else it says here that the fan is currently operating at 0 0.75 that's p sub 1 is 0 0.75 uh, hp and the static pressure is 0 0.3 inch and also the speed is n sub 1 is equal to 700 rpm okay so here's our initial conditions and we have the final conditions we only have one value or one um, information that's for the flow rate but if we if we have that then we can solve for the speed then if we have the speed then we can solve for the other parameters right so let's do that so for step two let's solve for the for the speed or for the change in speed so recall n1 all over n2 is equal to q1 all over q2 and take note that the relationship of the change uh, of the speed to the flow rate is just linear so therefore n sub 2 is equal to q1 what's q1 or this is right here n1 is equal to q1 all over q2 so n1 is 700 right, q1 is 5000 and q2 is 5500 so if you do that so 700 divided by 5000 divided by 5500 and this is 770 so 770 rpm so from 700 now it goes to 770 rpm All right so solving now for for the static pressure for the static pressure so this um, static pressure is n1 all over n2 is equal to h1 all over h2 so take note the relationship to the static pressure is we have this squared and that means that um let's say 700 700 divided by 770 squared and the static pressure is 0 0.3 right here and here's our unknown h2 therefore h2 is so 700 divided by 770 squared divided by sorry 0 0.3 divided by answer so this is 0 0.363 0 0.363 inch okay so take note that uh, we are asked to find the increase in static pressure that means that uh, the increase should be the difference between the final and the initial so therefore 
the increase in static pressure is is uh, or delta H is equal to H2 minus H sub 1 our H2 is 0 0.363 and our initial is 0 0.3 and therefore 0 0.063 inch right so here's our answer for the increase okay. so that's it then what else then can the same motor be used so in order to do that let's check the Okay, checking now. Now the adjusted um, horsepower. Adjusted power. Okay, so again, N1 all over N2 is equal to P1 all over P2. And this is raised to 3. And this is 700. Right, and this is 770. And this is cube is equal to P1. This is 0 0.75 HP. I think uh, this one can the same motor be used if if originally the fan has uh, has uh, zero point five HP specifications, right? So something like that. So, although it says here that um, initially we have the 0 0.75, but um, in the design stage or when we when they were doing the specifications, they have computed that um, only as I mean, even if the the horsepower is 0 0.5, then it can it can already deliver the um, the the requirements. Let's say the static pressure uh, and the flow rate, except that for let's say maybe because of some design purposes, then this is adjusted to zero point seventy five. So because this won't make sense if we just say can the same motor be used? Uh, because uh, of course this will change. But if we say this, if originally the fan has a zero point five HP specifications specifications then can we still use this 0 0.75 hp so that's that's our question okay so this is not 0 0.75 let's just write 0 0.5 hp all over p sub 2 so p sub 2 is equal to 700 divided by 770 cube so 0 0.5 divided by answer we have uh, 0 0.66 so 0 0.66 HP so yes we can still so yes we can still use the same motor the same HP of motor right because 0 0.66 is uh, 0 0.66 is or 0 0.75 HP is greater than 0 0.66 therefore okay All right so that's it but if you want to check for the adjusted um, then we use instead of using 0 0.5 we use this 0 0.75 right so for the adjusted for the adjusted power or for the actual adjusted power that's going to be n1 all over n sub 2 cube and this is p1 all over p sub 2 which is just the same almost the same 70 cube but this one is 0 0.77 so if you do that our p sub 2 is So 700 divided by 770 cube 0.75 divided by answer that's 0. Point, uh, that's going to be 1 HP but I think this won't make sense because uh, the required horsepower should be this so I think this is not necessary so sorry about that uh, 
cast the problem says uh, what's the required horsepower this should be it this is the 0 0.66 and the same can the same order be used if the fan has 0 0.5 HP specifications originally so yes I think this is enough this is 0 0.66 and this is not needed this will not make sense right so in summary uh, our increase in in static pressure that's delta H is equal to 0 0.063 and our answer for letter B can the same motor be used then the answer is yes and finally what's the required horsepower uh, what's going to be the value this is 0 point HP is just 0 point 66 HP or power okay so I guess that's it then let's continue our remaining topics in this um, blowers